to Family Builder TV, where we review the new homes and transforming society. My name is Susie Opelua. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking about how to end emotional abuse. Yeah, uh, I have quite a lot of video where I've talked about some of my research and uh, some of the uh, outcome and some of the things I've seen about people seeking help, uh, people coming out of emotional abuse and all those good stuff. Uh, you need to check some of the videos. Uh, today, I want you to um, know that, like I, I will always tell you, um, it's not enough to to leave your relationship because of emotional abuse. Emotional abuse can be um, more stressful, more painful, more devastating, even than some physical abuse sometimes. Um, in my, uh, it's a kind of abuse that kills you without holding a knife or a gun. So a man can actually kill you psychologically, you know, with emotional abuse. However, uh, I keep saying this, without a giver, there won't be a receiver. And without a receiver, there won't be a giver. So this person perpetrating this evil knows that you are receiving it. That's why they keep giving it. Immediately you stop receiving it, they will look elsewhere for someone that uh, can receive it from them. And one of the reasons why I'm saying this is because... Um, as a professional, I know what this is and I know how you can actually uh, come out of it if you are willing, because the willingness must be there. Uh, I see a lot of people have programmed their mind on what they think this thing is and they feel that the option is for them to leave their marriage or leave their relationship. But I tell you, um, from this little time that I've spent on earth, I know that when you run for anything, it's going to wait for you in the future. I, I promise you. Whatever you run from that you don't uh, deal with will wait for you in the future or wait for your children in the future. So you have to deal with it so that you can have a result. And once you have a result, you can use it to teach your children. You can teach your generations. You can teach people in your life, people, you know, around you. And things can actually, you know, become better for them. So I want to encourage all women who are going through emotional abuse at this time or uh, uh, with their spouse. I want you to be intentional. That's the first thing. Be intentional. Um, uh, understand what this is. Understand what this emotional abuse is. I'm going to link the video uh, somewhere around uh, around here. Check out the link. I've talked about this. What emotional abuse is. So I'm not going to go back to it. But that's the first thing you need to know. Understand the details of emotional abuse, you know. Uh, and the next thing is don't confront the abuser. Uh, one of the challenges that I've seen is people will now go and confront the abuser and then it becomes a bigger problem. Uh, sometimes it, it, it might even lead to physical assaults, physical abuse, you know, it could lead to verbal, what uh, exchange of verbal abuse and all that, and then you will aggravate and complicate the issue. That's not what you want. Is a solution that you actually want. So let's look at the solution. Don't confront the abuser because they will turn it back to you. And in some of the studies, what we have seen is when people are abusing you and then you turn around and say hey enough is enough then they turn around and say hey you i, I am the victim here so in most relationships when people are trying to uh, take themselves out of the abuse the abuser will become a victim so it's essential for us to tread softly and then gently so that we can have the results that we want remember we want to make uh, divorce or separation the last option in the equation of marriage okay so the next thing is you now start to create boundaries i've said this before in most families especially for a girl child we don't create boundaries um you know daddy can open the door uh, of the girl's room anytime mommy can open the door of the girl's room anytime it's my house 
uh, I, I decide what, what, what is going to happen in this home. I am the alpha and omega of this house. I am the landlord. Um, I'm just borrowing you this house till you go to your husband's house or till you get out of this house and, you know, start your own life. We make it seem as if our children are boarding to us. And so uh, all they want to do is to live your life, uh, leave your house as quickly as they can because they want to have a life of their own. They want to have a freedom. They want to be where nobody will stress them out. And so these were actually part of the reasons why people stay longer in abuse. You know why? Uh, your, your home is is an oral movie for some of your children. So when they get out of your house, it's an escape for them to uh, start cohabiting with that man or to, to go and marry someone that they don't really like. But because they want to escape from your stress, they want to escape from your nagging, they want to escape from you, they go into that relationship and then they begin to endure the pain. They, they are always like, okay, it, 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 it's okay to manage this man than to go back to my family. These are the things that your children are going through. So I'm going to back up a bit and say, parents, make your house peaceful. Make it habitable for your children so that they don't run out of your home just to escape. You want them to go because they are ready to go and start a life of their own. So start setting boundaries. Uh, you might not have boundaries from your marriage, from your family, but you need to start setting boundaries. I've made videos on setting boundaries. You have to be able to say no. If you if you don't want to have sex, you have to be willing to say no. If um if he's saying something negative to you, you have to be willing to say, hey, don't say that to me. Uh, and if they don't stop, you have the opportunity to walk out of the room, you know, uh, uh, stay somewhere else till till you're able to uh, exact your energy or de-escalate de from uh, what is going on. You can take a walk in the nature. Uh, you can go shower, you can go swim, you, you, you can j just go out and walk away and refresh yourself uh, and ensure that they don't say that to you. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to insist on what you want in that relationship. Uh, one of the things I've told people, if you're a good person, um, there's somebody for you out there. If this person you are with does not appreciate you, does not love you anymore, and you have done everything that you could do to change the situation, to enjoy, to ensure that, to ensure that the marriage work and they have decided to sabotage the relationship, then uh, you're permitted to move forward. Because someone is out there that loves you, that is willing to take care of you. But then remember, I always say this, you need to be ill, you need to be healthy. You don't want to go out with the pain and then go into another relationship and then the same thing happens and then you're repeating pattern and then we're telling another story. Um, abuse will not end unless the receiver stop receiving. So you have to get to a space in your mind where you stop receiving the abuse, then abuse will stop for you, okay? And then the last thing is show love to yourself. Uh, sometimes uh, for, for a number of us who were raised by a single mom, we, we because we saw a, a mom, you know, um, raise us that way, neglect themselves, spend all their life taking care of us, taking care of other people. Uh, we have codependency, uh, 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 and then we feel that is how life should be. No, that is not how life should be. There's a need for you to take care of yourself. Um, for a long time, I find it difficult to buy some things for myself. You know, I, I'm always like, uh, what about this person? What about this person? Um, uh, there, there, there was this time I had I had a job with um, uh, this this bank sometimes ago. You know, it was a short period before I left Nigeria, and before the end of this month uh, of the month, I have a lot of people waiting for me with their need, and I hardly say this is what I get for myself than you know for those people. Uh, so uh, I, at some point, I, I was bitter. I was bitter because I was always doing. I was always doing, and the, you know, and the same thing in my relationship as well. I was always doing, and then it becomes you know a thing that got me angry every time. 
Uh, I, I, I won't say like, I learned to start showing love for myself. Immediately you start showing love for yourself, the other person will begin to appreciate you because the way you treat yourself is the way other people will treat you. You are the one that determines how that person will treat you. You are the one that will design how you want people to treat you. If you don't treat yourself well, the other person will not treat you well. So you need to learn how to treat yourself well. And trust me, emotional abuse will stop. It's a gradual process. It will fizzle out in a, in, in, in a matter of time. So make sure that you know what you want. So I'm going to recap. Uh, you understand what abuse is. Don't confront your abuser. Uh, start to, to create boundaries. Insist on what you want in a relationship. And much more. Show love to yourself. Once you begin to do this, things will begin to change. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, till I come your way again, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And remember, keep becoming a better you. Because things work when we work it. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>